Hey guys, how's it going? So I recently got access to Claude through AWS, and I want to show you how to do the same so you can use it in production without limits. And so the way you can get access to it is by using Amazon Bedrock, which is a new service that's generally available. So let's first go through how to get access through Amazon Bedrock and then run the code um, to run Claude. So just click get started here. And you're going to see some foundation models that they offer. They offer AI21, Anthropic, Stable Diffusion, but we are mostly interested in Anthropic. So what we want to do is go to Model Access down here. And so I already have access to Anthropic. It says Access Granted here. But you're going to want to fill out a form, and there should be a button somewhere here. I've already filled it out, so it's not present. But it's basically going to ask you what your company name is, your email, and that's about it. And after you fill that out, you'll basically get instantly, you'll see that it's available in your area. And by the way, I've chosen Oregon here. In some areas, it's not available, but just go to the region where it shows up here. So once it says available, you're going to want to click edit and then select the anthropic models. And then you're going to want to click save changes. I've already done this, that's why it says access granted. But basically those are the steps you need to take in order to be able to use this. And by the way, this is all run serverless, so you're only charged for the usage. You're not charged uh, continuously, it's only whenever you use the APIs. And you can use Claude and Claude Instant. So let me now show you the code. And I've used Python in this example. so. You're going to want to first install Bodo 3, which is basically the wrapper that allows you to invoke AWS services in Python. So like if you wanted to use S3 or Lambda functions, but in this particular case, we're going to be using the Bedrock API. So and in this part, I basically just set the environment variables for your AWS access key, the secret access key, and then the region. You can basically get these two from your AWS IAM console which I think if you just type in IAM, you'll be able to get those values once you go here and just click Manage Access Keys. So put those in here, and then this is the code. I'm gonna run it first and then explain how it works. And here's actually, I've already run it before, but the prompt is explain AI to an eighth grader. So let me just change this and let's run this. And it's going to stream back the response using Claude Instant, I believe. So, yep. And you're going to want to parse the JSON once you're on the client. But basically, it's saying, you know, this is the response it's giving us. So let me walk you to the code first. And by the way, I'll post the link to this in the description. So you can just copy and paste this, which I've actually done too from AWS. So we just have our imports here. We have our AWS variables here. And here we're basically giving the Bodo 3 our AWS access key and secret key. And here we're saying we want to use the service named Bedrock Runtime. And here this is the Claude part of it. And if you've used OpenAI, it's very similar, but a little bit different. You're going to have to format the prompt in this specific format where you first have a human part and then you have an assistant part that's basically empty. And you're also going to need to give a max tokens to sample. This part is actually required. You need to set this. I've set it to 300, but you can go all the way up to, I believe for Claude Instance, you can go up to 100,000 tokens, which is pretty awesome. So this is the body. We're going to set this model ID to Claude Instant, but you can do Claude 2, etc. And you can get those from, let's go back to Bedrock, actually. And I'll show you how to get the IDs. If you go to base models, and then if you go to Claude Instant, it should have this. You can copy it from here, basically. So let me continue. And here's actually like the important part. We're doing bedrock invoke model with response stream. There's two options here. You can either do invoke model or invoke model with response stream. I want the streaming effect. That's why I've added this here. And here we're just passing in the body with the prompt and everything, the model ID. And then that's about it. And this part's basically just for loop that's going through the responses and sort of getting the chunks that are being sent back to the client. You can add more stuff here like bytes and whatever this is to, to parse this. But yeah, that's pretty simple. 
I think, you know, if you don't have access to Anthropic already and you're trying to get access to it, this is the fastest way. You can literally get access in like one or two minutes by doing this. And it's production ready and ready to go. It's all serverless, so you don't need to worry too much about paying a huge bill. So yeah, hopefully that's useful to you. Yeah, let me know if you have any questions. Thanks so much. Bye.